Let the transformation T from M22 to R3 be defined by T of the two by two matrix ABCD equals the vector A plus B, A, A minus B. For part A, we're asked to find a basis for the imager range of the transformation. The imager range of the transformation would be the set of all output vectors such that the input two by two matrix is in M22. So if we take a look at the form of the output vectors, I'll leave vectors in the form of A plus B, A, and A minus B. We can write this as a sum of two vectors, where the first vector would be the vector A, 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 and the second vector would be the vector B, zero, negative B. Let's factor out A from the first vector, which gives us A times the vector one, 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 and then factor out B from the second vector, which gives us B times the vector one, zero, negative one. Notice this tells us that all the outputs are linear combinations of the vectors one, 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 and one, zero, negative one. So we can say the image of the transformation or the range of the transformation is equal to the span of the set containing the vectors one, 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 and one, zero, negative one. And therefore a basis for the imager range would be the set containing the vectors one, 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 and one, zero, negative one. For part B, we're asked to determine a basis for the kernel of the transformation. The kernel of the transformation is a set of all input vectors, or in this case, input two by two matrices, such that the output is equal to the zero vector. So again, let's take a look at the form of the output vector. All the output vectors are in the form of the vector a plus b, a, and a minus b. And in order to find the kernel, this vector must be the zero vector, or the vector zero, zero, zero. So notice how this indicates that a must equal zero, and if a is equal to zero, in order for a plus b, as well as a minus b to be zero, b must also be zero. And now from here, remember the kernel is a set of input two by two matrices from M22, such that the output vector is a zero vector. So now let's look at the form of the two by two input matrices. Each input matrix is in the form of the matrix A, B, C, D. And again, in order for the output to be the zero vector, both A and B must be zero, and therefore the kernel would be the two by two matrices in the form of zero, zero, C, D, which we can write as a sum of two, two by two matrices. We can write this as the two by two matrix of zero, zero, C, zero, plus the two by two matrix zero, 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 D. And if we factor out C and D, we have C times the two by two matrix zero, zero, one, zero, plus factoring out D, we have D times the two by two matrix zero, 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 one. So notice how this indicates that the kernel of the transformation would be all the linear combinations of the two by two matrices, zero, zero, one, zero, and zero, 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 one, which indicates the kernel of the transformation is equal to the span of the set containing the two by two matrix zero, zero, one, zero, and the two by two matrix zero, 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 one. And therefore a basis for the kernel would be the set containing these two by two matrices, which again is the matrix zero, zero, one, zero, and the matrix zero, 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 one. I hope you found this helpful.